Here we are being asked to draw a pie chart for the information below. A shop sold 180 sandwiches one week. The table shows the fillings in the sandwiches it sold. So here the fillings were cheese, ham, beef and egg. And the number of sandwiches sold are here. Now the first thing we need to do when we we want to draw a pie chart, we need to work out the proportion for each category. Now, how many categories are there? Well, clearly there are four categories, cheese, ham, beef and egg. So we will work out the proportion for each categories. So we extend the table and we write proportion here. And we start working out the proportion for each category. Now, what will the proportion be for the first one? Well, first of all, the first thing that you need to establish is what is the total? Now, clearly the total here is 180. It clearly says here that the shop sold 180 sandwiches in one week. So 180 is my total. Now, the total will always be the denominator of each proportion. So this is something very important here. The total will always be the denominator. Now, so for the cheese here, the proportion here will be 32 over 180. And for the ham, it will be 65 over 180. For the beef, it will be 52 over 180. And for the egg, it is 31 over 180. Now, I would advise you not to simplify the proportions, and I'll tell you why. The reason why we should not simplify the proportions is that these proportions will be used in the next row to work out the angle. And the reason why you should not simplify these proportions and keep the proportions consistent, meaning all the proportions are out of the same denominator, 180, is because in the next calculation, when you are working out the angle, you can easily work out the angles and I will illustrate this here now so what we do the next row will be to work out the angle using the proportions now what we do to work out the angles is that we need to multiply each of the proportions by 360 because in a circle there are 360 degrees so we will multiply the proportion by 360. Now, how do you work this out? Well, clearly 360 divided by 180 is 2. 360 divided by 180 is 2. 2 times 32 is 64. So my answer here is 64 degrees. Now, for the next one, we do the same thing. We multiply the proportion, 65 over 180, by 360. And then again, similarly, we do 360 divided by 180, which is clearly 2. So we simplify this, 360 divided by 180 is 2. 2 times 65 is 130, so the angle here is 130 degrees. Now, as you can notice, each time I, three, I, I will have 360 divided by 180, and which will equal 2. So you can easily do the rest. And that is the benefit of not simplifying each of the proportions. And because... 
the SATs. But because they have abolished the calculator paper in the SATs now, all of the questions that they will give you on pie charts, you will see that the denominator of each of the proportions, i.e. the total, will always be a factor of 360, so that you can easily divide 360 by that total. Now let's do the next ones. So the next one again will be 52 over 180 times 360. And clearly 360 divided by 180 is 2. 2 times 52 is equal to 104 degrees. And then last but not least, 31 over 180 times 360, which again, 360 divided by 180 is 2. 2 times 31 is equal to 62 degrees. And we are done. Now what do we do? Always, always check your answer. To check that you have not made a mistake, all you need to do is check that all the angles that, that I have worked out here, do they all add up to 360? Well, clearly, I can see that 64 degrees plus 130 plus 104 degrees plus 62, clearly, it totals to 360 degrees. So I know that I have not made a mistake. Now that we have our angles, we can now draw our pie chart. Our pie chart will consist of four slices, exactly four slices, because there are four categories, cheese, ham, beef and egg. Now, before we draw our pie chart, I, I want to summarise what we just did here. So step one, we work out the proportion of each category. And remember, the denominator will be the total. So for each of the categories, cheese, ham, beef and egg, we worked out the proportion. Now, for each of the proportion, the denominator will be the total of each of the categories. The total here is 180. So the denominator will be 180 for each of the proportions. And step two, we multiply each proportion by 360 to work out the angles. So here, this is what we did. We multiplied each of the proportions by 360 to work out the angle of each category so we can draw the pie chart so we multiplied the proportion by 360 to work out the angle and in step 3 we use the angles that we have worked out to draw the pie chart and you must remember that the number of slices in the pie chart will be equal to the number of categories. So we have four categories. So in this pie chart that we'll draw, there will be four slices. And also another thing that I forgot to mention is that to check that the angles that you have worked out are correct, add up the angles to and, and check if the angles add up to 360 degrees. That's how you check that you have not made a mistake. Using the angles we worked out, I constructed the pie chart. Now, the first category here was cheese, and the angle was 64 degrees. So I started from here. This was my first line. And then I measured 64 degrees anti-clockwise using a protractor. So I measured 64 degrees anti-clockwise. Now, when we are measuring anti-clockwise using a protractor, we should use the inner scale, not the outer scale. So when we are measuring anti-clockwise from right to left, we use the inner scale. 
And then after drawing the first slice, 64 degrees, I measured the, the second slice, which was 130 degrees. Again, anti-clockwise, using the inner scale of the protractor. And then I did the beef, which was 104 degrees. And then last, the egg was 62 degrees. So once again, a, a summary of the steps. First, we will work out the proportion of each category. And for each of the proportion, the denominator will be the total. And then we multiply each proportion by 360 to work out the angles. And then we use the angles to draw the pie chart. And remember the number of slices I have will equal to the number of categories there are. So please remember these steps. And always remember, if you have worked out the angles correctly, but, your, but, but you constructed the pie chart incorrectly, you will still get half of the marks. So please remember these steps and work out the angles correctly. Even if you cannot construct the pie chart, if you work out the angles, you will get half of the marks in the exam.